Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA Back to the Future Ultimate Doc Brown figure. So before we take a look at Doc Brown, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. First up, you get the blueprints to his house, and these look really, really nice. Up next, you get the letter with Do Not Open Until 1985 written on it. And I actually thought this opened, but no, it's just printed on there like that. It looks really good though, it looks really convincing. So there he is, holding that. And he comes with the flux capacitor drawing. And this looks really good. And on the back, it's printed to look like a crumpled piece of paper. And that just looks really realistic. The printing they did on these papers look really nice. Up next, he comes with alternate hands. But before I switch them out, I wanted to say the hands that are on him right now, the plain hands, they're surprisingly detailed. Like, all of the lines in his palms looks really good. And on his knuckles... It's just really detailed. It surprised me how detailed they were. And he has his watches right there on each wrist. And you can see that one. So yeah, the, even these hands are really detailed. Here he is with the alternate gloved hands on. And they look really good as well. They have some nice texturing to them. And some light brown painted over top of that dark brown gives it some nice variation. Up next he comes with this wrench. And this wrench looks really nice. It's, it's pretty simple, but it looks good. There he is holding the wrench. He comes with a pair of goggles for the next head sculpt. And I wanted to show it off here. Um, this is the alternate head sculpt. You get this open mouth there with the cut above his eyebrow. To get this on, you're supposed to wiggle it behind the head right here. But I can't do that without fear of it breaking. I could heat it up and get it on there. But, you know, I want to take it off. So getting this on, what I like to do is I like to position it right there and then just work this above the ears and then do that. And there Doc is with the goggles on. And if you look, uh, the strap does go over the hole there for the ball peg, but you can push it out of the way and still get the head sculpt on. Like I said, if I stretch that anymore, it feels like it's going to break. And I could heat it up to get it on there, but I do want to remove it. And by doing this, I, I don't feel like I'm going to break it. I feel like that's the safest option. So there he is with the alternate head sculpt on with the goggle on. And as you can see, it doesn't want to stay behind his right ear, but it does go on. And it looks good for the most part. Taking a look at the main head sculpt, this is probably the best likeness NECA has ever done. It is just spot on. It is a really good likeness of Christopher Lloyd. I, I just can't believe how well NECA did on this. Like, even on his eyebrows and in his hair, you get some paint variation. It's really subtle, but it's there. I like that they did put some paint variation in there. He has some nice paint variation to his skin as well. And he has his stubble. It's printed on there. I thought it was sculpted on, but yeah, it's just printed on. It just looks that good. And then they gave him some dark circles. They're also printed on. He does have the bandage right there on his head. And if I remember right... Um, he's not wearing this outfit when he has that on. I could be wrong about that. But anyways, looking at his shirt, it has some really nice texturing on it and the pattern on it. NECA did a really good job on that. The sculpting to it looks so good. That's one thing NECA really did a good job on was the sculpt detail on this. It is just crazy. His jacket also looks really nice. It's got some nice texturing to it and a little bit of paint variation. And they did paint over top of the uh, the double-jointed elbow right here. And as you can see from me posing it, the paint has chipped off. Um, I do appreciate NECA doing that, but anytime they paint over the joints there, I know it's going to chip. The only thing that uh, is really sloppy on this figure right here are the buttons on his coat. That's about the only thing that's sloppy on it. And there you can see the stitch work down the back of the coat. It just looks so good. Get some more nice sculpted parts down here. Some nice texturing to his pants. And there are his shoes. Some more good sculpt detail. And some bright silver there for the buckle. And then you get this tear right here on his left leg. Which shows a little bit of his sock. And on the bottom of his feet, the soles of his shoes are actually sculpted on there. So yeah, NECA went above and beyond with the sculpted detail on him. It is just so nice. And like I said, this is probably one of the best likenesses NECA has ever done. It is just absolutely spot on. So now, let's go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head and neck. that allows him to look up all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. And you get some tilting. He has ball jointed shoulders. 
that can only move out this far. I wish they could move out just a little bit farther. He has double jointed elbow that can bend in all the way. He has swivel wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He does have a joint here. I want to say it's a diaphragm joint. But um, either way, he can crunch forward just a little bit. But he can move side to side. He has ball jointed hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward just about all the way. As you can hear, he has some really squeaky joints. He can kick back all the way. And he has swivel at the thigh. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he has some <laughs> really squeaky hips. He has single jointed knee that can bend back all the way. He has a swivel up in the shin here. The socks are a separate piece that go up in here, and they swivel side to side. He has an ankle joint that can only move down just a little bit, um, up just a little bit, but it can rock pretty well. So, yeah, the articulation on him surprised me. I doubt you're going to get him in very many crazy poses, but still, I appreciate that NECA gave us such good articulation on him. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up, there he is next to part one, Marty. There he is next to part two, Marty. And finally, there he is next to Rick from Rick and Morty. So overall, I would highly, highly recommend this. This has to be one of my favorite NECA figures ever. The likeness and the sculpt detail on this thing is great. So yeah, I would highly recommend picking this up. It's one of my favorite NECA figures ever. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.